Here's how I went from these messy four week old braids to these freshly done looking braids without having to redo a single plait. For the purpose of this style, I'm going to use a no rinse leave-in conditioner, a styling wax, you're going to need your crochet needle, and on top of that you're going to need your edge brush, but this is optional. So before I started this video, I washed my hair and now I'm putting the moisture back in with my leave-in conditioner because all the goodness has been washed out and I've got to put that moisture back in. Here I'm just showing you, this is what I'm going to use for my cheat code that you'll see later on in the video. So as you can see guys, I'm sectioning my hair and I'm timing it. So I'm giving myself an hour. So I smooth down my strands with the brush to make sure everything's lying nice and flat. Then I just keep it in place with the wax. And what I start to do is turn away and I need my hair taut in this position. Then I take my crochet needle and you wanna make sure guys that this latch is down before you apply it to your hair. So as you can see, I'm just showing you, you don't want to go on the very edge. You want to go in the middle of the braid or plait. Then you're going to take the end of your hair, loop it around the crochet needle, pull the latch up to close it and pull it through. As you can see that I'm doing there. So then you should have this loop and you pull it all the way down. Now guys, if you want your hair tighter, you can pull it through again for the second time and I'm going to show you on this plait. What I will say though guys is don't pull it too tight where you can see white bulbs, i.e. your follicles coming out of the roots. That's too tight. That's just my personal opinion and I'm just giving you some advice. So there you go again with the latch. You're gonna push it through the middle, loop the hair onto the hook. And as you can see, I didn't, I left this bit in purposely. So I didn't close the latch and then the hook got caught in my hair. So I'm just gonna re-demonstrate. So you push it through the middle with the hook down, latch down, sorry. Then you're gonna hook your hair on, the ends of your hair of the plait, close the latch, pull it through, and then you can pull the rest of the plait through on itself. So as you can see, this one I'm not satisfied with. It looks a bit looser than the first one. So now what I'm gonna do, instead of going up, I'm gonna go across. Okay, and then this just gives me a tighter hold. So I didn't turn the hair, as you can see guys, because I don't want it too tight. I don't want my hair to lock up. I just want to pull it through to tighten it. And there you go guys. As you can see, it's nice and it's taut. It's not tight. Just to let you know guys, this method is called the interlocking method and it is used to lock hair. Now, the reason why this doesn't actually lock my hair is because I usually do this when I have two weeks remaining of my style. So. I currently have my hair in for about four weeks and I'm gonna leave it in for another two weeks and that's not a long enough time for my hair to start locking. I've done this many times on my hair. I haven't lost any hair. My hair hasn't started to lock up, just to let you know, but be aware, this method might not work for everyone. Okay, I'm just showing you, just remember guys, the latch needs to be down before you insert the crochet needle into your plait. Then you want to go up, hook your loop on the hook, close the latch, and pull it. Where my hair is finer at the edges, I only crochet once and that's tight enough for me. I don't want it to the point where my scalp is hurting or any hair follicles have been pulled out. I just want it taut enough and it looks tight but it's not because of the wax. The wax gives it that sleek look but it's not tight. It's just nice and neat and taut. So I'm just going to go ahead. As you can see guys, this one has outgrown the front a lot more. So I'm gonna double this one. I'm gonna go twice with this crochet. So I'm gonna do the same thing, apply the wax, smooth it down into my strands. Then I'm gonna take my brush just to neaten up the edges. All the strands just to make sure, it gives it a cleaner look, just to make sure everything's laying in the same position. And I'm gonna twist back on itself, so twist away. Put the crochet needle through the middle, latch down, Hook my hair on the hook, pull the latch up and pull through. And as I said, I think I'm going to go double with this one because it is a bit looser than the front. There you go, yeah. So it's a bit too loose for my liking, so I'm going to go to the side. Okay. As I've been doing with all of it. 
So this time I didn't actually put the latch down and the reason why I didn't is because once the hair's been crocheted already, it makes it a lot easier for the hook to come through the hair, if that makes sense. So here guys, I'm just speeding it up and you can just see the process. Right, so I've done half the head, or a quarter, I should say, on one side. You can see the difference. You can see how nice and neat it looks. You can see my partings, you can see my edges. The hair looks shiny, it looks clean, it looks flat, it looks sleek, it looks all the above. This side, not so much. As you can see, you can't even see the root. So this is the difference four weeks makes to my hair. You can see a vast difference. You can see that my hair is quite grown out. Quite happy about that, I must say. But I'm just going to neaten it up. Yep, look at the height difference and the fluffiness and the sleekness on the other side. Once I finished, this was the time I had left. So I guess you guys were thinking, what is the cheat code? The cheat code is I just do the front rows of my hair. I don't see any point in doing the back because the back is not prominent. It doesn't frame my face. It's the fuzziness in the front that I want to get rid of. Would you like to see? So let me just quickly show you the back. So it's still fluffy, but that is not where the main attention will be. The main attention will be on the edges, on these roots, on these partings, so voila. Before I forget, just to let you know, I have got a new merch line called It's Pronounced Pomade. So that's what we've got so far. So let me just continue. Now what I usually like to do is when I've retouched up my hair, I've refreshed it because I've washed it. Now I've retouched it up because I've crocheted it. I sometimes go in on my roots with rosemary oil. Now rosemary oil is potent and it needs a carrier oil. Carrier oil is something that will mix with it to allow it to be able to be applied topically. So on the scalp, on the skin. But rosemary oil is well known to have similar effects to minixadol. I almost made it. Minixadil. So what I do is I mix this rosemary oil with a hair grease and apply it on my scalp. But I'm not going to be doing that right now. What I'm actually going to be doing is setting my hair with my Cream of Nature Argonol Styling Foam. I just want to set these and the way I do that is I just smooth on the mousse. I need to put the moisture back into my own strands. So I'm just going to smooth the foam down my lengths of my hair. And as you can see, my hair is looking very fresh. So just to arm the middle of my scalp, I'm just going to demonstrate how I mix it with the rosemary oil. So I just put a little bit in the lid like that. I'm going to take a drop of rosemary oil, pour it in here. And I'm just going to apply it like I usually do with hair grease. So as you can see, it's very shiny because of the oil and use that as my carrier. I'm not just going to put that on the front pieces, I'm going to do the back as well. Just because we haven't crocheted the back, you don't want to not moisturise and hydrate and all the above. You want to pay attention to the back as well because you don't want your hair flourishing in the front and diminishing in the back. So we'll do that later off camera, but you get the gist. Okay, so this is the overall look. And I've done it in just under an hour. So as I said guys, the cheat code is not doing the back and the hair still looking lovely. Now, if you do want to go a step further and you do want to need something the back of it, but you don't want to crochet it, you can apply the foam mousse on the back and then put a do-rag on just to flatten it and neaten it. But if you're not too fussed as I'm not, fine, just leave it. So now all that's out of the way, I'm going to show you how to tie your ends so your braids do not unravel for the duration of the style. Easier than you think. 